To open up a hand-drawn image, once you're in Affinity Designer, go ahead and go to File, Open, and select the image that you would like. And you could start with this document. I'm just going to bring it into the document that I already created. So you can copy it, it's already selected. So you go to Edit, Copy, or Command C on the keyboard. Go to the document that was already created and then edit, paste, or command V on your keyboard. Like I said, it's already selected, so I'm just gonna scale it down just a little bit by dragging it from the corner. And then I'm going to rotate it so it's the correct way. And then what I like to do is lock the drawing layer. So with the layer that the image is on selected, hit this lock button. And as you'll see, I can't move it. Um, and then do another layer on top by going to this sheet of paper. And this one you will be able to add in some lines and you could even use the brush and if the paper is a little distracting you can always click back on that background layer and even though it is locked you can change the opacity so I'm just going to decrease this and then go back to the layer that I would like using the pen tool you can go in and start adding in the lines of your drawing. And if you want to give it more of a hand-drawn look, if you go into this stroke panel and if you do not see it at the top left, you can always find it in the top right. You may see color or swatches, but the stroke is next to that. And I'm going to decrease the size a little bit. And at the very bottom, if you go to pressure, you can see you can move this around but if you double click on one of these, then you can move it up or down without affecting the other one. So as you can see, now this one side is thicker than where you started. And you can also switch it to the other direction. You can add in some more spots where you would like to have more of that hand-drawn look where you've added more pressure um, if you're like using a marker or something. I mean you can add in as many points as you would like. And you can increase the size of the stroke. And another way, and especially with Affinity Designer, I tend to use more shapes than I do the pen or the brush. So if you wanted to make the shape of the crab, you can use the ellipse tool. And I'm going to turn the stroke off. I'm going to change the color to red. And then you will see this Convert to Curves button. Go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to use this Convert and I want this sharp edge. And I'm going to select one side. Hit the Convert to Sharp Edge. Select the other side, Convert to the Sharp Edge. And you could leave it like this, or if you wanted still more of like a slight curve to it, there is the option to use the corner tool or C on your keyboard. 
and make sure that the node that you would want selected is in blue. I want to select both of these so they are the same shape or roundness. So holding shift and then just dragging in So now you see there is a slight roundness to the corner of these. And if you want to select an object in Affinity Designer, use the move, use the move tool, which is V on your keyboard, and either click directly on to the object, and you will see the outline of the object has appeared, and then you can move it around the artboard. Say you have multiple items that you would like to select at once. Let's say I want to go ahead and add in eyes for the crab. So if you select, you can see that it's only selecting one at a time and say if you do this you think that you're selecting all three items but it's only selecting the one so when you click and drag around to make sure you are going over all of the objects completely that you want to select so now it has grabbed all three and I can move those around And you could even layer these. So right now this is on top. And in your layers panel, you'll see the items that are selected. I'm just going to drop it below that stroke. And you can move the stroke around to kind of fit this if you want kind of that look where it's not quite finished and everything's kind of a little off. So I'm going to stop here for now instead of doing all of these and save this image. So if you wanted to share it online to export your image, you can go to file export and I think that I went over a little bit more about each of the files in the mood board class but to save it for the web you can resize the image to what you would like and then it doesn't give the option to save for 72 dpi which I find very odd but you can change the quality next to presets and change to a medium or high quality. The other option is to save as a PDF. Um, to save as a PDF and you will see that it allows you to do the 72 DPI. The other option would be to create a new document and this would be just to save for the web and change your dimensions to 72 dpi and select the objects that you want to share and then copy either by going to edit copy or using command c on your keyboard and then pasting it by using command v or using edit and then paste and this way you could save or export And then you would be fine with doing the best or high quality.